good afternoon students today uh, we will discuss about phytosomes a novel herbal formulation which is one of the important topic in your syllabus now content of this uh, topic is introductions then uh, definition of phytosomes what are the advantages and difference between phytosomes and liposomes how viability can be increased by this formulation then properties and method of preparation characterization means evaluation or standardization and marketed formulations now introductions so why uh, such type of formulations are needed in a recent market as compared to conventional or traditional dosage forms because many phytoconstituents have very low viability by less absorption like polyphenolics and terpenes which are already available in plants in major proportions having antioxidants and related properties and they having less uh, solubility in particular body fluids and they cannot easily absorb so this viability we can increase by formation of phytosomes and the main mechanism of uh, formation of phytosomes is polyphenolic exhibits a affinity with phospholipid so we can uh, attach particular uh, herbal extract along with phospholipids uh, like phosphatidylcholines by hydrogen bonding or dipolar interactions and these complex increase the absorption and viability of particular drug or extract now phytosome phytosome is complex but uh, uh, complex novel dosage forms and having active ingredients phospholipids like lecithin and phytosomes are novel drug de uh, uh, delivery system containing hydrophilic bioactive phytoconstituents means um, phytoconstituents they may be water soluble and such type of water soluble uh, ingredients or extracts cannot be absorbed through skin so we have to convert them into hydrophobic in nature and this can be possible by formation of phytosome now advantages uh, what are the advantages of phytosomes like enhance the absorption increase the viability then uh, increase the efficacy give more uh, pharmacological actions and cost effective drug delivery and hence the permeation through skin and also by oral dosage forms and better stability as compared to normal water soluble phytoconstituent now liposome is also one of the novel uh, drug delivery system but phytosomes having better choice for particular phytoconstituents as compared to liposomes and this is the main difference between phytosomes and liposomes like phytosomes are complex molecules while liposomes is one of the type of vesicle formations in phytosomes ratio of phosphatidylcholine and phytoconstituents is generally 1 gem 1 or 2 gem 1 matlab phosphatidylcholine is either similar in quantity or double in quantity for formation of phytosomes and uh, in case of liposomes thousands of phosphatidylcholine molecules are used for preparation of vesicle or cover <coughs> in which or in center uh, particular drug is incorporated this is the figure which indicate the difference between liposomes and phytosomes you can easily see that in liposome phosphatidylcholine gives a hydrophobic layer in which in middle central vesicle particular drug is uh, filled in form of purple uh, triangles and in terms of phytosomes each drug molecules interact with each phosphatidylcholine molecule and incorporated by hydrogen bonding so stability of phytosomes is more as compared to liposome you can easily see in figure now viability viability is increased generally many phytoconstituents have um, less viability because they are having less absorption through skin or any systematic circulations like grape seed silifos curcumin these all are main active phytoconstituents which are used in uh, generally grape seed use as antioxidants silifos used for hepatoprotective drug curcumin for anti cancer drug and we can increase the viability by formation of lipos uh, sorry phytosomes now physical and chemical properties of uh, phytosomes generally properties is uh, totally opposite uh, phytoconstituents are generally water soluble 
and they can be converted into hydrophobic property by uh, formation of phytosomes. So phytosomes are lipophilic in nature and freely soluble in organic solvent and insoluble in water because phosphatid alkaline is the main solvent in such type of formulation. Now spectra. Spectra are generally used for uh, evaluation of uh, formation of phyto, uh, phytosomes like proton NMR, C13 NMRs are used to check the formation of phytosomes and this can be checked by band broadening of phosphatid alkaline uh, peak. Or spectra. So after formation of phytosomes, the spectra of hydrogen NMR and C13 NMR for choline cannot be more recorded. So this is the conformation of particular formation of uh, phytosomes. Now preparations uh, for phytosomes. Uh, uh, phospholipids is uh, generally taken for um, background solvent so dissolve the organic solvent containing drug or extract then hydration and then solution is prepared along with drug or extract along with phospholipid like or oily substance phospholipid means and then drying or solvent evaporation so which uh, form the thin films and uh, after that formation of phytosomal suspension in particular solvent different additives are used like phospholipids or any non-polar solvents alcohols are there in background solvents or additives in formation of phytosomes then uh, one of the technique is anti-solvent precipitation technique same uh, general method is same in all the type of techniques like drug plus phosphatid alcoholine this is soil acetine is one of the example of phosphatid alcoholine then reflux with dichloromethane, one of the inorganic solvent. Then concentrate the mixture or extract. Then add hexane and then filter and dry the PPT because hexane is anti-solvent. Means in hexane, particular uh, phytosomes are not soluble. So they get precipitated and these precipitates we can easily filter out and pass through 100 mass sieve in very fine powder form. Then rotary evaporation technique. This technique is almost similar to earlier techniques like drug plus phosphatid alcoholine in terms of soya lecithin, then dissolving tetrahydrofuran, then stirring, thin film is formed, then addition of hexane, so precipitation out of phytosomes and which we can separate out by drying and filtration. Then solvent evaporation technique. Here hexane step is excluded and drug plus soil acetin then acetone extraction or reflux then concentration and then obtain the precipitation and filtrate and collect the phytosomes then characterization of phyto characterization means evaluation or standardization of phytosomes by particle size determination membrane permeability determinations then um, chemical compositions then visualization means checking the diameter of particles because phytosomes are generally micron in diameters like point, uh, 10 micron to point 0.1 micron diameter. So this uh, formation of uh, nanoparticles we can easily uh, check out by TAM and SEM. TAM means transmission electron microscopy and SEM means scanning electron microscopy. Then spectroscopic evolutions are also there FTIR, proton NMR, C13 NMR for checking the spectra of phosphatid alcoholine which is not observed after formation of phytosome. So these all are standardization or evolution parameter for phytosomes. These are some formulations like tablet with soya, polysaccharide and cornstarch. Then hard gelatin capsules of Chinko biloba using this formula. Then soft gelatin capsule. Soft gelatin capsule matlab here uh, additives are added in form of oils. So soft gelatin capsule is formed. These all are commercially available phytosomes like ginkgo, silibin, hawthorn, gene select, curcumin, grape seed, green selects. And this uh, name of phytosomes itself indicate the main ingredients or phytoconstituents. Ginkgo biloba generally used for immunomodulator uh, uh, drug. Silibin, matlab silimarin, which is used as hepatoprotective. Hawthorn used for heart diseases. Then ginseng used uh, for adaptogenic property, curcumin for anti-cancer, grapeseed for antioxidant, 
and green tea for also for antioxidant property thank you any queries then you can uh, contact my personal number thank you